What's cracking, lacking? It's your boy JB Shoots back with another one. And as you can see, we just got done shooting Smith and Wesson MP 2.0 10 millimeter. But low key, right now we shooting a glorified 40 Smith and Wesson. That guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. The manufacturers are really, really overcharging for some 40. But um, that's neither here nor there. That's not the gun's fault. That's uh, right now, it's the Winchester white box fault. But anyway, 15 rounds of 10 millimeter, man. Woo -hoo -wee. Um, Now I know this gun has been out a little while and there's plenty of videos on it going over all the specs and features and problems. But um, I had to get my hands on one, man. As y'all know, I everyday carry the Smith & Wesson m and 9, the compact, four inch barrel. Um, but this one's a, as well as a four inch barrel, but it has the full length grip and a little, little thicker on the grip. Not too much, not really all that noticeable, but um, it comes with all the features you come to expect nowadays from your Smith & Wesson, uh, the m and line, you got your Nice front and rear slide serrations. These taller sights to co-witness with your optic. Light rail for any kind of light you want to run on there. They're all new and improved uh, flat face trigger, which is actually pretty good. Um, I have the Apex in my nine millimeter, but this one I haven't, obviously haven't changed it out yet. I don't think I will. Um, probably just gonna keep this gun how it is now. Um, but yes, sir, you get your nice aggressive grip texture there. That's really going to help when I actually get some 10 mil, not no 40. Um, but these magazines are metal. Uh, they feel pretty good. They work. They're easy to load. So nothing wrong there. Yeah, man. Uh, Smith & Wesson is really my favorite brand um, when it comes to polymer frames, striker fire pistols. I, I I love him, man. I love him. Shout out to Nub to Shooter. He called me and uh, run it out in his last video saying that we should be tried for treason, talking down on Glock. But uh, man, he just he just talking out the side of his neck, bro. Right? He don't know what he's talking about. Nah, it's it's all love, Nubs. Um, you know you love these Smiths, man. Um, but yeah, I got a nice response video <laughs> coming for you too. Nothing too crazy, man. It's all fun and games. Um, but yeah, man, we got it topped off with the Trigi the SRO. As y'all know, my favorite optic to throw on every pistol. If I can throw it on there, I'm gonna throw it on there. And I got the FDE Surefire X300 Turbo and this the B model. Yes, Lord. Um, maybe along the line when I actually get some 10 mil, I might get one of those antimatter ring wings on there to help mitigate uh, the recoil because I know it's going to be spicy. Um, but right now, we're shooting really glorified 40 Smith & Wesson, um, which is a real disappointment. Um, you know, you got you to gotta pretty much order the real, the real stuff. You're not going to be able to find that in your box stores. Um, but for right now, just to get it, get it work, uh, broke in a little bit, that's what we're going to shoot. So... Ooh, wee, man. I love the feel of this pistol. You got your shorter shorter slide, but the longer grip, man. That's really going to help mitigate the recoil. And um, I love the way it's looking right now. I mean, I love the way that's looking. Look fire. Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to load up another mag, and we're going we gonna to shoot a little bit. Some of y'all might think, JB, you just got the 45, man. What you want with the 10 mil? Well, as y'all know... 10 milli is the caliber of all calibers, man. So I had to test one out. Uh, still love that 45. Um, actually want to do a nice comparison video of 9 mil, 45, and 10 mil. We all know the 10 mil is gonna win, but you know I gotta experience the first hand. So let's just let's just pop a few. It's right now. This ammo kind of feels like maybe plus P40 or maybe 45 in a way, 
but it's a lot smaller round um but it's carrying a lot of energy the real stuff is but um it's it's popping it's popping right now So I've seen, you know, some stuff online saying that uh, the 10 mil round, you know, is is kind of kind of hard on the SRO. So we're gonna test that out as well. I got my warranty on there, so hopefully TreasureCon will, um, you know, stand by that warranty if it does go out on me. But um, so far, like I said, we're shooting some weaker stuff. But so far, um, it's holding up. Um, yes, yeah, sir. Let's go load up some more magazines. 10 millimeter. Oh man. I honestly have a bad, bad, bad gun addiction. As most of y'all know, um, this shit's addictive. You fall in love with it quick. You see something online with for a pretty good deal. I'm like, hmm. I need one of those. In all reality, you really don't. But you know, us gun guys, we just, we just gotta, gotta swipe that card. Uh, hopefully, my wife doesn't watch this video. I probably won't tell her that I made one today. So, um, yeah. Love you though. These magazines, um, they're pretty easy to load. Can't quite remember, but I feel like the 9mm mags right out of the box were a little stiffer than these. But these are going in pretty smooth and easy. Um, on down the line, I might get me the Floyd's Custom Shop um, base plates for these. I think that'll bump my capacity up to... 20 rounds, which is nice. Uh, 20 rounds of 10 millimeter, boy. That is overkill. Nah, not really. I don't think you can ever have too much. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop side to side of this barrel. Like I said in my competition video, I know this is more of a review, unboxing, first shots type of video, but uh, I wanna incorporate some more movement. So what I wanna do is just have work on target acquisition after coming behind a bear. So that's what we're gonna do. Like the way that looks on there yeah yeah sir good 10 milli um i've been moving all kind of stuff at work today i'm a little tired already but uh i wanted to come out here and make this video because i've been thinking about it all day fun with that pocket reload a little bit but uh yeah man thought about putting a magwell on this one as well but i don't think i want to kind of growing out of magwells um it does help with the uh with the nine mil i got you know locking in that grip it does help for that but on this one don't plan on carrying it um we don't have too many bear a bear problem in mississippi i think we got some black bears but i think this can definitely put down some hogs um some coyotes you know small game or large game whatever <laughs> that buffalo boar uh probably put down an elephant but um 
shit, man. Whew, I was thinking about maybe a chest rig for it. You know, that'll go hard, chest rig. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's load up some more ammo. Now let's talk about this trigger a little more. Um, like I said, man, the new Smith & Wesson triggers are really, really good. Um, compared to what they previously had. But, um, we are clear. It does have some grit in it. I know if you can hear that. I know they it will smooth out over time. It's not bad. Like, it's not going to affect anything, really. But, um, nice take up. Good amount of take up. Some grit as long, along as well with that. Nice firm wall. Clean brake. No over travel. And a short audible reset. And it does kind of press your, uh, shoot your finger out a little bit. Feels about four and a half pounds. So nice solid trigger. And I know I said no more billies, but I'm gonna add it. I gotta at least get one. Real quick, like I said in my EDC video, we are clear, we're empty. This thing, uh, that, uh, that chamber indicator is definitely throwing carbon on that dot. If y'all can see that, don't know. But yeah, dot is getting a little dirty, which is okay. Um, I'll probably get another dog tag for this one just to prevent that from happening but so far so good um right out of the box she did choke up a little bit um had to give it a old slap on the ass but um i'll throw in some clips but just uh didn't want to feed in all the way and i kind of expected that i had that same issue with my uh my actual 40 when i had it um it did not want to feed the first on that gun, it was really like the first 200-ish rounds before it, you know, fed reliably. But um, this one, it was just the first mag. I had like maybe four failure to feeds or whatever that malfunction is. But um, yeah, man, she smoothed right on out. Hadn't had an issue since. So I'm gonna pop a few from the top the stairs here we are still in a safe environment i'm at the range alone how i like it let's see if we can get a few on the top top uh, right shoulder but um that's about we're gonna i'm gonna say it's 50 but we're just gonna call it 40 uh underestimated a little bit yeah man this is a nice shooting pistola love it um we got a few more rounds we're gonna wrap it up and that's gonna be it for today because I ain't finna go buy another box. Hell no. Hell no. Strong hand only, left hand only. Yeah, buddy. Um, I love this pistol. 
uh yeah man so appreciate y'all tuning in to another one hope y'all enjoyed this uh make sure y'all like share and subscribe we are now monetized i ain't making much but um hey it's steps we're heading in the right direction man um leave a comment tell me what you think about it love it hate it should have got a different brand but um i rock with my smith and wesson man my m ps it's a solid solid pistol um trying to think if i forgot to touch on anything else i had kind of brainstormed a little bit before we got out here um holster compatibility um i believe it fits the nine mil holster that i have i just have a different light but it'll go in but um it's a slightly different not slightly it's a completely different light so it doesn't quite lock up right and kind of gets jammed up on the draw but other than that man it's basically the same as the nine mil uh, except of course you got metal mags um a little thicker on the grip but yeah man make sure y'all like share and subscribe see y'all in the next one peace